Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and in today's video I'm going to show you how to run Windows 7 on your Mac within Mac OS if that makes any sense. Essentially you don't have to boot camp and you can still run Windows 7 on your Mac. Now this is going to be done through Parallels 14. Um, I'll have that linked in the description if you want to follow along doing this. It is a free download but to unlock all the features you do have to purchase it. So we're going to be utilizing the free download. You're going to want to scroll and click download free trial. I've already done that to save us some time. You're also going to need a Windows 7 ISO and you can do that either from your USB drive or DVD that came with your copy of Windows or you can download it through Microsoft website. I'll have that link down below as well. You will need a product key. It's not like Windows 10 where you can just download it and activate it later which is kind of a shame but whatever. So to start we're going to need to install Parallels 14. You're going to want to click on the DMG when it downloads and then you're going to want to click on install.app. Yes, you want to open it. We'll start installing Parallels Desktop. It'll check for software updates. Then it will ask for your admin password. You're going to want to type that in. Once you hit enter, it will remove any previous version that you happen to have of Parallels and then it will copy the files to install the new version. And then it'll start loading parallels and then once you first launch it you'll be prompted to download and install windows 10 i actually did a video on this before it'll be linked up in the top right corner if you want to go check that out for this one you're going to want to click skip though and then you want to click install windows or another os from dvd or image file and you want to click continue and then it should show up with your windows 7 iso click continue and if you have a license key you can activate it here uh, i don't so we're gonna skip that choose whether you want to use this for productivity or games productivity and then you can name the vm you can create a shortcut on the desktop you can customize your settings before you install i'm not going to do that so i'm going to click create it will create the vm and then it'll eventually start windows And then once the setup wizard starts, you can choose your version of Windows here. Uh, I'll choose Ultimate because this is a copy of Ultimate. And once you continue, it'll start copying Windows files. And I'll speed this up for you guys because this is probably going to take a while. And yeah, watching Windows install is not that fun. I've done it more times than I care to admit. So on to the fast forward. And then towards the latter end of the install process, Parallels will install... Oh, okay, alright, well, we're in. Towards the latter end of the install process, Parallels will install its Parallels tools. Let me actually just make this a tad bit bigger for us to see here. And here we are, we have full-fledged windows, start menu over here, media center, all the stuff that you would normally find in Windows 7. See the games, show me the games, show me the fun stuff. Oh yeah, they stopped shipping pinball with XP. Mmm, Microsoft. We got good old Internet Explorer. And you can go to youtube.com slash C slash technology toys. And no, go away. Technology toys. And, no, no, no toys. And uh, start watching some of my YouTube videos. Now, the full version of Parallels is a paid product, paid software, and it does cost 80 bucks for a brand new license. And if you have past versions of Parallels, it's $50 to upgrade. Sounds like a lot. I don't personally own Parallels. I just kind of use the 14 day trial to make these videos and then I kind of leave it for a year. But if you're someone that needs Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows whatever, any Linux distro or any other separate version of Mac OS or OS 10 and you don't want to partition your drive or use boot camp or whatever, this I would imagine is incredibly helpful for you. If you're someone that carries around two or three laptops all with different operating systems on them, I think the 50 year $80 will be worth it to mitigate your back pain. So there you guys have it. That is my tutorial on how to run Windows 7 on your Mac without using Boot Camp. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.